$100,000. What's up, Money Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at my dividend portfolio in M1 Finance. Um, you guys know that I'm actually in the process of building a $100,000 dividend portfolio step by step it's not gonna happen overnight to get to a hundred thousand dollars that's a lot of money and so um every month like i, I said I, I was gonna show you guys where the account is uh which new stocks are added into the account and how the account is actually performing and if there's any dividends that got paid uh i want to show you guys that um every single month so uh last month i showed you guys update to the account and so this month i've actually made some changes um which by changes I mean, I've actually um, added some new stocks into the account. So we're going to jump into the account, go through it, see how it's performing, um, see uh, which stocks I added, and then we'll go from there. So here we go, guys. Um, this is my M1 portfolio. Um, as you can see, we have that amount in the account. Um, yeah. And uh, so let's go to activities and see if we have... Um, any dividends coming in this month so let's filter that and there we can see so um, as of this month we haven't gotten any dividends so this is March so no dividends paid yet so we're looking forward to some dividends coming in this month so hopefully next month when we do a video would we'll have to, uh, I'll show you guys those so yeah nothing in yet but now let's go back to the main account um, last time we did a video, um, last time I did an update, so we had, uh, uh, from Recidicor, we had real estate and we had technology. And so this month we've added communication and energy. So um, in, on that communication, we added two stocks. I added um, AT&T and I added uh, Verizon. So uh, if I can pull up AT&T here, so as you can see, their dividend yield is 5.45%, uh, which is which is awesome. So we're looking forward to it. Um, one of the reasons we got them too was because uh, with the coronavirus stuff, everything was down. So we were able to go in and get and get some of um, um, AT and T. So uh, and then Verizon was the same thing as well. So um, we got them relatively cheap. Uh, if you look at the dividend yield here, it's 4.23%, um, which is awesome. Um, so I can't complain we got them at a reasonable price. So our goal is um, As markets recover from the coronavirus, we're really gonna be sitting pretty good here. So um, If you look at the, the gains here or down a dollar sixty five, that's not too bad. That's, I mean like that's really nothing um, Just to be down a dollar uh, fifty five, which is great um, So that's it for communication. So let's go back and see what we have for energy so energy, I actually added two stocks. So we had an Exxon Mobil, which is pretty good. They were down $26 um, and some change. That's still not bad because we got them at a really, really good price. Um, likewise, I added um, ET, which is energy transfer. So let's open Exxon and see the, the dividend yield is 6.64%. That is awesome. Um, you can't complain with that. Like I said, down 26 bucks, but um, our hope is that this will grow over time and we would get those dividends. So let's go to um, ET. We're down five dollars, almost, almost six dollars. Um, that's not too bad. Dividend yield on this one is about 10.57. So that's pretty good. Um, can't really complain. The goal is to grow this account over time. Um, the trick with you know with dividend investing is not um, you know just putting money in there is picking the right stocks and allowing them time to grow and pay you dividends um, over time so that's why again i mentioned that my account is named growth and income because i'm getting growth from the stocks and i'm and i'm getting income that's being paid to me dividends so overall what's the health of this account um we are up 300 and $49. Um, I think this is down from last month, again, for obvious reasons, the coronavirus. Um, so our return is 8.5. We were up to about 20% return on this account, and then the corona thing happened. So we're down to 8, uh, we're down to 8.5%. So on the technology, see, we're bleeding uh, as far as 
um, Camtech, um, IBM, uh, and um, um, Seagate, but it's fine. We're gonna we're gonna get the, the dividends here, and then um, if we go back and look at uh, real estate, we're sitting pretty good. There's a little bit of red in there, but overall we are up 2.3 percent or 48 dollars uh, return, and then pharmaceutical um, was still bleeding a little bit with Merck. Uh, but um, no, Gilead Science and uh, Abvi are doing great. Abvi is going to really spike here. I'm looking forward to this stock um, as they acquire. I think they're going through some sort of acquisition right now, so that's going to be great. Um, so if you look again, individual stocks. Um, See, so look at their dividend yield. This is 5.4 um, for GLID is 3.75. And then if you look at Merck, it's um, 2.94. So that's not bad. So overall, um, if you average that, you know, would, from, from a dividend standpoint, we're sitting uh, maybe an average of 4.5 to 5% uh, uh, on just that particular pile, which is awesome. So, um, so that's the health of the account. And again, like I said, I'm going to continue to put in money there and, and expand these uh, different piles that I have. So if you notice here, um, we don't have our, let's say consumer goods, it's not here. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna find something in consumer goods, I don't see in the manufacturing. So I'm gonna put some manufacturing and consumer goods in my next, um, in my next update. And, and even in between that, if I see a good stock that I think this is really good, um, I'm gonna include that. There is a, there's key stocks that I, I have in mind that I want to buy, and those are really good dividend paying stocks. Whether you like it or not, those you need to have those. And I'm gonna do a list of the top six dividend paying stocks that I'm gonna buy and just put them in my portfolio um, just because of how good they have been performing over the years. And I'll do a separate video on that. So there we go, guys. That's the update. Um, so this month we see we've deposited a thousand dollars. Um, into the account. So if you're going to deposit, so oh, I'm not going to do that. Um, so, but overall, we've deposited a thousand dollars into the account for this month. So I'm going to buy some more stocks for next month, and then hopefully, if I get some extra money on my side hustle, I'll buy more stocks. And that's how we would continue to grow this account. We're sitting at uh, right now. If I include this one thousand, we're sitting at over ten grand. That is awesome guys i think we're doing good um so let me know if you have any questions otherwise that's it for this video it's my update and we'll talk again as you can see guys getting to a hundred thousand dollars it's more of a marathon as opposed to a sprint um most people when you say a hundred thousand dollars people are like oh my goodness um where do you get all that money from it's just baby steps like i said um you know every month my goal is to put a uh, maybe a thousand dollars into the account and continue to buy those dividend stocks and then with the help of compounding interest um, so when I get paid dividends um, those dividends get reinvested that's how the account is going to grow and hopefully the market gets better after this whole um, coronavirus craziness um you see the account actually took a hit because of the virus and so um you're gonna see those up and downs and but that's the reason why we're doing dividends because it doesn't matter if there's a, a up or a downtrend you still get paid dividends and that's what keeps the account uh continuously uh growing and for me personally that's where i actually named the account uh growth and income growth from the fact that the stocks can actually grow in income from the fact that they're paying you dividends and that's the way um i want this account to grow so uh, my goal is to make extra money if i can make some extra money um with my side hustles and everything i'm gonna dump that money into the account to try to grow it as fast as possible to get to that one hundred thousand dollar mark so that's it for this video guys if you do have any questions about my choice my choice of uh, stocks that i'm buying uh, don't hesitate to actually ask the questions in the in the comments below and also if you have any questions about dividends investing and stuff like that don't hesitate to reach out uh if i can't answer it i know a lot of people that um can definitely share the knowledge with with me and i'll share them with you um on the channel so um again like share subscribe and as always guys, stay motivated.